Yeah, all right. Today is April 19th, and this is the seventh episode to my series. Um, everything is now transplanted outside. I did this uh, yesterday, and uh, uh, yesterday evening. So they've been out here since yesterday evening, and they are looking pathetic. They uh, they're drooping pretty bad. So, I'm guessing it's a I'm guessing it's transplant shock. Yeah, everything has it, especially the peppers. Very very droopy. Some of them are by far worse than others. Very droopy. There's the Carolina Reaper. Forgot it out. It was outside one day and uh, just left it out too long when I was doing the hardening off and burnt the leaves. Very droopy, all of them. This guy doesn't. This guy looks like he's all like half dead. <laughs> so, so, we'll see how they do. They were uh, hardened off properly. Uh, it took like it took like two weeks doing it. So I'm slowly moving them outside and then giving them six, eight hours in the in the sun and then they started spending the whole night out. So I'm just hoping they're drooping like this because of transplant shock. But anyway, this is my setup. There's 27 buckets here. Uh, there are 27 plants. Each plant has two buckets in it. And this bottom one's a reservoir. About an inch up from the bottom, there's a hole. So when you fill with water from the tube, it'll fill that reservoir and it'll pour out. That way there's never too much water in here. And the top bucket has a bunch of holes drilled into the bottom and a three inch net cup that sits in the bottom that helps wick up water. Um, it's a do it yourself self watering Dutch bucket system. That's what this is called. So, relatively inexpensive. Uh, cost me about six and a half dollars per plant to do the, the bucket system that's everything about six and a half dollars so not not bad um, but with this system I only have to come out here and put water down in the reservoir once a week so less maintenance so there spot back here where a bucket's missing it's because I'm making another bucket I've got another watermelon plant growing that is what's going on it's a beautiful day it's going to be 80 something degrees out here. The nights are mid 50s. Uh, in a couple of days, there's supposed to be rain that comes through. Still depending on whether or not I'll put, pull these inside for that. I guess it depends on how they're how they're reacting and if they're still in shock. I guess. So we'll see. 
Okay. These are my MOA Scotch bonnets. I got actually great. MOA Scotch bonnet. I forget which one it is. It's entered it into the contest. I have it written down on a piece of paper inside. Um, it's actually got to be this one because of the way the stem comes off right here. So yeah, I think it's this one I had entered, even though that one does look better over there. <laughs> I think it was this one that I entered. So we'll see. That's my chocolate Lucha Lokia. What is that? That's Jamaican hot chocolate. Ah, just a ton of them. So anyway. I'll see you guys in a few weeks. I may or may not make an episode in two weeks depending upon how much they've grown. Um, I'll make a video if there's a disaster, like the plants die or something because of the transplant shock. I'm not, I won't hide my failure. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll see you guys in about two weeks. Thank you for watching.